All right. God bless your heart real good. We're a little worn. We're a little exhausted. Been on the go all week. Out of our normal routine. So we're a little worn and exhausted. Praise God. It's 1024 now. I God, I didn't get out of bed to 9.15 last night, this morning. Which I normally get out of bed around 6.30, between 6 and 7. But we were tired, tired and worn. Nevertheless, let's get right to it. I uh, want to deal with this question we got for YouTube, a, a, a good question. A good question. Let's get this question. A good question. Oh, let's see. Okay. And here is a question. Here is a question. It's coming from YouTube. The question says, Will we see the Father? Will we see the Father? I, I know no man has seen God at any time. Yet the Father has shown Moses and other men of God a piece of him, not in his but not in his fullness. However, Matthew 18 and 10 says, the angels behold the face of the Father. However, they are not flesh and bone, but spirit. Let go to Matthew 18 and 10. And we and we can hallelujah. Matthew 18 and 10. Let go there and get. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Matthew 18 and 10. The question will we see the fall? Hallelujah. Matthew 18 and 10. That's the scripture that the first scripture they gave. Matthew 18 and 10. Was it? It says, Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father, which is in heaven. The angels do always behold the face of my father. You better be careful how you treat me. the saints of the Most High God. You better be careful. Don't despise them. You better not despise them. In, in any context, get me, get me, get me. The 18th chapter, go back up. Hallelujah. To verse number three. Rarely I say, Jesus, Jesus, rarely I say unto you, except you be converted and be calm and little children. You know little children can be taught. You know little children can be changed. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know children taught to obey their parents. <laughs> what about your heavenly father? What about obeying him? 
of where God, the word of wisdom and knowledge going for right now. All right. You shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You got to be changed. Because it's a converted. You got to be converted. Hallelujah. And become as a child. That means you obey your parents. And listen to the teachings of your parents. But you listen to the teachings of the heavenly fall. Uh huh. Whosoever therefore shall offer himself as a little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Why do you fight God? Why do you fight the, the servants of the Most High God? Why do you fight the preachers? Yeah, why do you fight me, preacher? I'm one of the little ones. <laughs> And whoso shall receive one, one such little child in my day, receive me. Why you find me? You supposed to receive me in the name of the Lord. Because I come doing the Lord's will and preaching the Lord's will. Yeah, I, I believe it. I believe I believe it better work there right quick. I believe it better work there. Go to St. John. I believe I won't. Do I want 14 or do I want 17? Hallelujah. Here it is again. Well, that's Luke. That's Luke. That's Luke. Some little children come out to me and forbid them not. When they come to Jesus, you better get out of the way. Don't you stop them. And shall you be, be converted and come as a little child? All right, give me St. John. You Paul to receive me. How can you why are you despising Jesus serving? Twenty. John. 15 and 20. Remember the way that I say it unto you. The servant is not greater than the Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sins, they will have kept your law. So we say what Jesus said. All right, let's go back. And Eight, Matthew 18, verse 5, Whosoever shall receive one such little child in my name, receive me. But whosoever shall offend one of these little ones, which believe in me, <laughs> that's condition. It is better for him that the bills don't be hung about his neck, and that he will drown in the depths of the sea. Woe to the world because of our faith. The world go persecute us. Do all matter evil against us. Tell lies on us. Try to stop us. The world going to do that. You know we got a little children. Remember, remember, if, if, if everybody's not God child, we God children by creation, but by regeneration, everybody ain't another God child. Because Jesus said, You are your father, the devil. Well, go to the word we call it office. Hallelujah. It must need be that office is come, but woe to the man by whom the office come. You doing this to the Children of God. <laughs> Blessed are the peacemakers, but they shall be called on the children of God. Hallelujah. Wherefore, if thy hand or thy foot offend thee, 
cut them off and cast them from thee. It's better for thee to enter the light. Halt, man, round the heaven, two hands, two feet, be cast in hell, and the fire. Now, that's a warning to you. Verse 10, take ye, be careful, that ye despise not one of these little ones. You better be careful now. Don't set your eyes on the do evil. Don't put your hand on the do evil. Don't put your feet on the do evil. Don't let your feet go in a different direction to do evil to the children of God. That in heaven the angels do always behold the face of my Father, which is in him. Hallelujah. For the Son of Man is come to save that which is lost. Son of Man come to save that which is lost, but you, want, but you don't want the gospel to go out so people can be saved. And you try to block it here. Jesus told somebody, he said, he said, told him, you don't say you don't enter to keep yourself. But you block those coming into the kingdom. Won't be under you. All right. <laughs> Boy, that's some good stuff there. That's in contact. The angel behold the faith. And let you know what you better look out for. All right. Let's get the rest of this. Said the angels. Behold the face of the Father. However, they are not flesh and bone. Now see, that come from well, well, flesh and flesh and bone, flesh and bone can't enter the kingdom. Don't worry about all that. You that believe the word of God. That's what you believe. Your flesh and bone ain't gonna enter the kingdom. We gonna be changed. Ain't that right? Yeah, yeah. Who wife is gonna be law? Remember that. When I read in the book of Revelation, the father is said to be looked upon as like a sardine and jasper stone. Also, God dwells in light, which no man can approach. When we are called up to meet the Lord Jesus, the Son of the Father in the air, and go to him. Will we see God our Father? Let's see. Let's see what the what the scripture said. Will we see God our Father? Let's see. I want you to go to the book of Revelation. Let's see if we're gonna see God our Father. Now I remember years ago. Let, let me say this too. And I'm gonna talk in cold. The people that lie to most Christians or church people, the people that lie to y'all about Revelation is the same people that say America is a Christian nation. Is the same people that stole our ancestors from Africa and killed and, and, and stole America from the Indians. Those ones that taught that taught y'all, that lied to y'all about revelation. Those are the ones I was just, I was just thinking the other day. People were talking about the uh, battle of Armageddon. People got talking about where the the, it, it go, the, 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 the the biggest army and the biggest army is China. They mix it all that, all people, people's opinion in. God bless Sister Lisa Fikes. They mix it all these different opinions in with the word of God, drawing their own clues. They didn't even read the word of God. Let's go to the word of God and see if we're going to see God. Holy Ghost, holy, shh, 
The Holy Ghost just took me somewhere before we go to Revelation. The Holy Ghost just took me here. I want the fifth chapter of the book of Matthew. The Holy Ghost just took me here. Matthew 5. The Holy Ghost just took me here. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 8. Yeah, I don't even need to go to Revelation. You believe you believe Jesus? Like, what do you say? Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. That's what Jesus said. Hold on, hold on, that took me there. Now let go of the revelation. We're going to knock off. Will, will you see God? <laughs> will you see God? I want you to go to Revelation four, it been dealing with the with the stones and all that that the bro, that the brother was talking about. But I want you to go to Revelation. Chapter We we gonna knock off. <laughs> All right, I want you to go to Revelation chapter twenty one. At verse number six. Well, 21 at verse four. Let's start with 21 one. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth and the first heaven and the first thing would pass away and that one will see. And I just saw the holy city of New Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Remember Jesus say, My father is the husband man. Uh, I am a true man. And I heard a great voice out of him said, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with me. And he will dwell with them. Watch it. And they shall be his people. And God, God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. There shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor cry, neither shall there be any more pain. For well, the former things are passed away. And he that sat on the throne, remember God said on the throne, said, Behold, I make all things new. He said, Let it be, write these words are true and faithful. Watch it. He said unto me, it is done. I am out and omega, the beginning and the end. I will give to him the third of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcome it shall inherit all things. I will be his God and he shall be my son. Huh? How many y'all see that? Then Revelation 21. Now, I know. I know. 
Well, well, Jesus, well, Jesus, well, that, that proved God on the throne and Jesus ain't there. All right. Go to Revelation 3. <laughs> Man, this is good. Revelation 3. Revelation 3. See, I'm not like that fall probably to tell you where well, the Bible don't be what it said. Revelation 3 and 21. This Jesus talking. And to him that overcome it, I will grant to sit with me in my throne. Watch this. Even as I am overcame and I am set down with my father in his throne. Question and answer. Yes, you will see God and Jesus. Yes. Let me, let me not let me not leave you leave you out there. Uh, uh, leave you. Yeah. You gonna see God and Jesus. You gonna see both of them. Fall prophet tell you. I mean, God said, "Well, people say you gonna be surprised when you get to him, and you don't see number one." Didn't no Bible say that you ain't gonna see number one. Didn't no Bible say nothing like that. That man's opinion. Go back there. Twenty one. Twenty two. Twenty one. Twenty two. And I saw no temple therein, and the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb. Are the temple of it. It said, Lord God Almighty and the Lamb. And the city had no need of sun, need of moon to shine in it. For the glory of God did light it and the Lamb. Then it go to the 15th chapter of the book of Corinthians. It said, Did it come? When, when Jesus go deliver up the kingdom to God, it comes subject that God may be all in all. Question answered with Bible. Yes, we going to see God and Jesus. Excuse me. Bible says, thank you for being. 